Congratulations, third pro victory for you tonight here at Alexandra Palace in tonight's opener. Impressive showing, the commentary were very impressed by your variation tonight, but how do you assess your own performance? How do I assess it? That kid was tough as they come. You know them Russians, thoroughbred. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, happy got some rounds in. Didn't want to, because I like to do my learning in the gym, but it was a good win. Well, like I say, Tukhtarov, chosen for his toughness. I think he was only stopped three times in those 23 defeats well, headed into this fight. So, but like you say, six rounds in the bank. And perhaps, you know, when you do look back, he, he probably was the perfect opponent for you at this stage. Mm. Well, they do say get the rounds in, but I like to get rounds in in the gym. But when I watch it back and I assess my performance properly, I felt like I got hit with one too many shots and I felt like I was trying too hard to get him out. And I felt like that's why he sustained it and stayed strong. When we caught up at the press conference, you told me about how important it was to you just to make the most of your opportunity on this big stage. How good does it feel being here? And I know you've enjoyed the whole week, but knowing this is just the beginning of your journey and there's so many more big nights like this to come, how good does that feel? Uh, well, it was the first show back of 2022 for Matram, so I'm glad I opened it. I didn't get the stoppage, but hopefully I left my presence and made it, made a mark. And in terms of the whole week and, and the whole build-up, have you enjoyed it? Uh, 100%. Got lunch money. <laughs> I was in a nice hotel. Can't complain. I was getting looked after nice. Only three fights in, like I say. And what you, you told me there earlier that you enjoy doing your learning in the gym. Banked so many great rounds of sparring with the likes of Joe Cordina, Josh Kelly as well, down that matchroom gym with Joe and Connor. How crucial is every day in the gym, and especially at this stage of your development, those rounds with such top-level operators that I've just mentioned? Well, I want to be at the top. So to be the best, you've got to mix it with the best. So I learned loads off of them boys and they're at the pinnacle of their career now. So if they bring me on and I will always like to jump up in the deep end. So when I do get there, I can always swim with the big boys. Your dad, Marcus, of course, uh, us and many others know him from Gogglebox, but he said this week that his passion is boxing and also the work he's doing with you in the corner. How important a figure is he, not just in your boxing career, but in your life as well? Like he's hard on me. You hear him all night. He was telling me he's going to break this kid's face, but fucking hell. <laughs> I told you, he's a tough one. Yeah. But give thanks. Good win. Can enjoy some food now. Hopefully back out next month or so. You know what I mean? I want to want to get some more fights in. Is that, is that definitely just the key now, just to remain active? Yeah, I want to remain active. I want to keep pushing and pushing on because I want to get to the top as quick as possible. Absolutely. Well, that was a great show tonight. We're just going to bring Marcus in just for a really quick word here. Me as well, or him by himself? Yeah, yeah. No, you can, you can stand side by side, absolutely. Marcus, oh, just a uh, little face <laughs> off. <laughs> uh, Marcus, just straight into this, Mark, here. Just give us your uh, assessment of, of Charlotte's performance tonight. Listen, first of all, I want to thank all the fans that came out. I want to thank Eddie Hearns for giving him the opportunity to just jump on this platform, man. Eddie Hearns puts on the best shows in the world, man, 100%. So... Big up yourself, Eddie, man. I definitely want to come here and mix it up again. That kid was tough. You could use a baseball bat and you wouldn't have got that kid out of there. That kid was tough. So you don't need to be hard on yourself, yeah? You owe me, owe me laps and press-ups for not stopping him. However, <laughs> however, you know, you did good today. The boy did good. So he's boxing nice, up and down. I mean, our, get, our attack is mainly head body. We always try and take the legs off of them. I mean, like... Everyone can get. Though, well, you hit the body, you hit the body, but his body was just tough. So yeah, I think your variation was good. Setups. I know he did. He, 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 uh, yeah. Because that's our game. I mean, we in our gym, we spend so much time on the body suit, man. That's just how we like to do our thing. The jab, that jab will take him around the world. I always tell him to use the jab. Sometimes he pops his chin up a little bit when he does it, but there's, it's just all learning. And like you said, we spoke about being in the gym with some of them great fighters, them British fighters that are just pretty much about to start running things man british boxing is probably some of the best boxing in the world so yeah they're serious operators joe cordina big him up for helping big up connor as well big up um who else have we been smart harlem big up harlem for for helping him out and mick collin and man those are some of the people that he's been all been working with so thank you guys man because you lot are like a big inspiration you've all been like big brothers to him yeah so big up yourself man but yeah we're just back in the gym and we're just going to keep on learning, man. Keep on working, keep on learning and start smashing these boys up. That's the plan. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Charlotte, Marcus, brilliant. Congratulations to the pair of you as a team tonight. Yeah, we look forward to seeing you back soon. Appreciate it. Well done.